Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back on New Holland Farm. Got our crappy little trailer house. As we make money, I'd like to buy a, a nicer house, but... Tis not the end of the world. Oh, that's right. We have to rock pick tonight. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, oh, well. Knew this was coming. Let's get the rock picker. We're just going to rent the big one. I don't want to deal with the little ones. Are you grumbling, doggy? What? My dogs are grumbling. Where's my tractor? Wait a minute. Is it in here? Uh, Houston, we have a rejection. There it is. Oh, I had the pick already. Look at me. Hey, what's up, Louis? Monsieur Louis. Bonjour. <sighs> ah. So I didn't go to band practice tonight. Last night, if you guys remember, I went to bed early because I didn't feel good. And uh, just still, I feel okay. Uh, I've been taking DayQuil. And last night I took a big swig of NyQuil. Actually, it was a couple of pills. And that sent me to happy heaven. But anyway, as the evening transpired, we are just getting started now. Hey, our summers. What's up, Big T? So we're going to work the field. Have some fun. It was good, Louie. I got the next Swiss Farm episode done. Took about three hours of field work to get it done. Um, ooh, that sucks, Cameo. Took my wife to work. Ended up picking up a computer call for tomorrow, strangely enough. I had a client from years ago call me and say, Hey, I'm switching internet. Can you come help me do it? I can't figure out what I'm doing. Sure. He also has a quote-unquote computer problem. We'll see what that is. Uh, he almost always has viruses, so it's probably a virus. I don't think he's too old for that. He's like, I don't know. I don't think that's what's going on. I just think he doesn't know where to go when he's online. And he ends up being stupid and going clicking yes when he should click no. But anyway, he always ends up with a virus, so. I'm assuming that's probably what we're going to run into. I never noticed this tractor has a pretty cool, like, iPad-esque control panel on this under the, or underneath the steering wheel there. That's pretty neat. Yeah, gosh, Cameo. Hopefully you'll get some rest. <laughs> Me too. I mean, we went to bed early last night, didn't we, babe? Like, 11 o'clock, something like that? 11.30? I still had a hard time waking up at 9. It's like 9 o'clock. I'm like, oh, no. No. But that's okay. It all ended up le uh, leading us to be able to stream tonight, so that worked out good. <laughs> yeah. Health before Arthur. If you got to go to bed because you're not feeling well, please do not stay up for my stream. I don't want to be the cause of anyone's severe illness or death. So it looks like we got about four rows over. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping the nose on that center line of the, the ridge. Well, it's kind of hard to do. The tractor's really bouncing around. I will say they've made that pretty good. 19 wasn't too bad either, but this one, it does feel like the ground's really bumpy, so that helps a little bit with the uh, feeling like you're in the cab. <laughs> What's up, Dice Fiend? Ooh, school robotics would be fun. 
How's it going, party time? The party has started because party time has arrived. Well, we got a fun night ahead of us. We're going to be just basically picking up rocks all night. We. There you go, cameo. What, uh, what version of Minecraft is he playing? Oh, it bounces because it's plow plowed ground that we're driving over, so plow ground is bouncy. Bumpy. Next win. There you go. Bedrock on PS4. Aha, okay. I have the um, I have the Microsoft version. I don't play it often. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, the graphics are different. Um, and I do like it, but I still like the PC version better. Non-bouncy ground would be called flat. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that cameo. When you're not feeling good, man, it's just like, uh. I didn't play video games for almost two weeks when I was really sick. Um, but, you know, this 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 week since we started streaming, I think it was like last Thursday or Friday, I started playing again, so. Absolutely, Louie. If you get some video, oh, good. If you could get some video clips, that would be good, too. Like. That'd be really kind of cool to see them at work. Oh, I forgot to lower it. A PC, of course. <laughs> hey, what's up, Red Alpha? Yeah, I was gonna say if you have the Jabo, the Jabo, if you have the Java version cameo, you can always join us on our server. Though Moni has Moni has a nasty habit of restarting it every time there's a new patch, so just be ready. Be ready for that, because <laughs> she quote unquote has to. Uh, Facebook for me, Louie, I don't ever look at the Discord page, but a lot of people do, so maybe do both. Put them on Discord and Facebook. I will. I probably if they're on Facebook, I'll see them. If they're on Discord, you'll have to keep reminding me, and then you'll just get agitated with me. And <laughs> what's up, Kilimanjaro? How you doing? I know, I know, Rodolfo. <laughs> if they go out at all. Oh, just bedrock. Dang it. Oh, you'll need the Java edition. It's too bad bedrock and Java aren't cross-play since they're both owned by the same company. But Someday, maybe. It'll just be, I think it's just Arthur's gaming channel. Is the Facebook page. Probably gonna have to rent like a low tipper so I can dump this out. <laughs> Dice Fiend says hi, honey. Bella. Honey says, Bella! 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 <laughs> Bellatrix Lestrange, get in this house now! Bella. Are you sure she's not already in? Oh, she's barking at somebody. She's being naughty. We'll just leave her out there then. Bella. She'll come in when she's ready. There's probably a deer or a raccoon. The Wilson trailer? Yeah, I like that Wilson trailer. Yeah, but I think Microsoft has bought the Java part at this point, Kilimanjaro. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. I, I, uh, what, baby? What? Oh, they haven't? Okay, so Java's still separate. Then why do you have to have a Microsoft account now to log into Java? I hate that. It's all screwy. <coughs> Microsoft rules the world. Unless you're a Mac person. 
But most gamers are PC. They're th they're out there, but they don't have the the Macs just don't have the the GPUs to to be a gaming computer. It can do some. They're good. They have good ones, but they don't have the top ones. I'll explain that. I think that came out right. So like they they probably are now shipping with like I don't know what they ship with now. Probably something from AMD. Who knows? I know they're based on Intel processors, but I don't know. I don't know what they're doing for for video cards anymore. <coughs> okay, so you don't have to because they 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 want to merge, but they're not going to yet. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's right, Red Alpha. <laughs> Uh, you're just trying to get things to work. Hey, what's up, Dr. Drift? Nice to see ya. This is the most exciting part of Farm Sim. Field prep. Bobby. My mommy and my Bobby. Forget what that's from. It's because developers would have to write another operating system more than the video cards because they have good graphics. Yeah. You said your name was Spud? Spud Wife Kenzie. I believe I do have them maxed out. I'm not sure. I, I just turn everything on everything. But that all depends on if you're running TA, TAA or TSAA or FSMXAA or... <laughs> I run a uh, D, DLA... D, wait, what is the new one? The new one is DLSS, right? So I'm running DLAA, which is basically... It uses the same pipeline as DLSS, but doesn't compress the textures. So it's basically a high-res version of DL DLSS. And that is a... So it... I don't know. All I know is it does downscale the graphics a little bit. Uh, what I noticed with the DLAA is that there was a lot of ghosting. And with DL... Or, I'm sorry, with DLSS, there was a lot of ghosting. With DLAA, there's less ghosting. So yes, the graphics are pretty much on max. So, but I I would use either DLSS or DLAA, or whatever that FreeSync thing is uh, from AMD, uh, if you can, because the game, weirdly, when you don't have any of those on, it runs really choppy uh, on any system. I've got a 3090 video card with an an 11700 processor and I can get this game to run choppy if I turn any of those off. So, it's weird. Maybe dice. I don't know. It depends on... Once again, we're running over plowed fields, so that's pretty bumpy. Um, there's even more settings. <laughs> Uh, we are playing Farm Sim 22. I'm on my canola farm, and what we're doing right now is we are removing rocks from the field so that we can get our fields turned around for the next. What are you doing? Why did my mouth like this? Why? Unique. Where are you going? No. I, I told you you were going to do it. No. Yes. No. You're going to bail on me. Yep. Go play Minecraft or something. Uh, can you give me some water before you go? And my cough drops out of my coat. You're so mean. <laughs> What's up, Northeastern Patriots fan? All right, bye. My wife's going up to bed. I'm, I knew it. She's like, you have to stream. I'm like, but you want, you're going to go to bed. And she's like, oh, I'll go into bed. I told her. I knew that was what was going to happen. Urgh. 
Bye. Why are you blind? Have you been to the optometrist again? Where they do that thing and they blow in your eyes or whatever to dilate them? Oh, yeah, you have been the optometrist. Good Lord. Well, don't strain it. Just close your eyes and listen. Got to let that thing heal. I, was it uh, laser corrective surgery or was it a, like a surgery surgery? I can't play Minecraft with a controller. I've tried. I'm used to the keyboard and mouse. But it would be much more comfortable with a controller, that's for sure. <coughs> really? Interesting. Well, there you go. Well, this is a new Ford, and it's very bouncy. <laughs> Holy cow, they put a new lens in your eye? What? That's crazy. That's cool that they can do that. Well, the good news is hopefully you'll be able to see better once it's all done. Any train? Hey, look, we're almost halfway done. Ah, they moved to Cataract. Okay. That's funny. So on railroads online, you use a keyboard and mouse, and you're comfortable, but not with Minecraft. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, what's up, Avalon? Good to see you. Long time no see. By the way, guys, don't forget to re-up your Twitch Prime subscriptions if they've come to an end. Uh, and thank you for being patient with me during the two weeks that I was off sick. Uh, once again, guys, it's it's so nice to be back. Uh, still not feeling 100%, but... Kim, you, you said I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird, too. That's why we all get along here. We're all a little bit weird like seal said we're never going to survive unless we're just a little weird oh wait that was crazy we're never going to survive unless it's like those scars he said he woke up one day and he just had those scars on his cheeks and i'm like uh -huh. bull crap <laughs> all right we are full i'm going to have to figure out what to do Ooh, trifocals. Oh, my goodness. That's some serious vision issue. All right, so we needed to jump, turn this off, and we're going to jump into the pickup truck. I'm going to rent a small, small, small tipper for the rocks, and we'll use this to, I wonder if I can just dump them in the back of this. Yeah, but you can't dump it. Right, exactly. The rock crusher is just around the corner. That's why I'm... See if I can just rent something to pop it, like, uh, into the back of this. What's up, bow tie? Yee-haw! I can't believe this still has that stupid horn. <laughs> now you're watching TV without glasses. Well, that would be nice. A nice change. But don't strain your eyes, man. Like, don't... Ugh, like, let it heal. Oh, I see what you're saying, like, just drive. Nah, that's too too much work, too much work. Besides, it's fun to rent stuff. I I, uh, I like wasting money on rentals. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I know I'm such a jerk. Uh, trailers. There should be a bunch of, I, I think I have mod trailers on this, like, a lot, too. Like, that would work. Um... What does this do? That looks way too small. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I do have a car trailer. So what's wrong with the horn? It's that silly beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this is actually cute. I like, I kind of like this. I don't think this holds, this holds less than the, then the uh, the thingy, little bale trailer. That's kind of neat. How much capacity does this have? Oh, 1,100. Okay, so that would work, actually. <laughs> the 
This is the dumbest thing ever. Yeah, that one holds 1,900. So what else can we use with the pickup truck? I want something a lit. This would be bigger. So this holds 4,000. We could even up to 8,000. There we go. That, that should be fine. And we're going to not purchase that. I'm going to lease it for 500 bucks. Because <laughs> it's just stupid. But Oh, the cramp half pipe. Yep. That would actually be realistic, too. Uh, so, yeah. No, it's just the horn is la, la cucaracha. I don't know. It's just kind of cheesy. It was funny with, you know. Oh, no. No. Yeah, but I can't dump the truck bed. I don't know how I would get it out of the truck. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, forget it. <laughs> and once again, the pickup truck's useless. I mean, the rock crusher is just right over here. It's not like it's a long way away. Where is it? It's back. It's, there it is. Yeah, we'll just do that. What's up, country boy? Yeah, there's the answer. Still doesn't work. Which, I mean, that's probably realistic. The qu Can I dump it into the truck bed? And how much does the truck bed hold? That's right, but the UTVs will attach to it? Right. Womp womp. <laughs> That's why you always sell off the pickup? Yeah, I know. It's kind of useful if you're doing bales. That's about it. Um, and even then, it's not super useful. But it, it's better than it was. Um, if you're doing small bales, the pickup truck is still a useful thing. But Or if you do a lot of like driving around to different places. But it, it wasn't as... I thought it was going to become more of a, a needed thing, but it's still not, really. Especially now that they made it more realistic and you can't use the big trailers with the pickup and stuff like that. Like that kind of... I don't know. Womp womp. Dump those stones. Do, 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 do. Oops, I went too far. Yeah, that's true. It would save collectible walking. How much did I make? Well, um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, that's what I thought would be. Some I thought you could tow the header trailers with the pickup. Is that still you can't do that either? Yeah, that kind of ruins it because in real life they definitely do that. I've, I see farmers do that all the time header trailer towing with the pickup. Well, we just got like two more hours of this to go. Actually, we've only been doing it for 20 minutes and we're already over halfway done. So, or almost halfway done. No, you can't do it, huh? Wow. Well, I might just sell the pickup. Because I really don't have a use for a pickup. Now, I could use a small tractor for getting stuff around. Getting. Like for our canola oil plant, we could use a small tractor. But, uh, whoops, I missed some rocks there. Hopefully. I know in France I have like one patch of rocks that I, that pop back up. Yeah, getting around faster, right. The slow little zetter, yeah. I might buy something. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, you're talking about the little zetter, like the green one? I don't know. My only problem with both that one and the Porsche, as cool as they are, they're, um, they're just so low res. They look very, very cartoony. Eh, I didn't like the Oliver. I tried it. Um, it, it's too, once again, it just looks 
very low res. Like, at least the paint's nice, but it, I... Mm, it was too cartoony looking for me. Not that this game isn't cartoony looking, but... <laughs> yeah, probably if I'm going to go with the New Holland theme, the new the T5 would work. That's expensive, though. I'm thinking cheaper. We'll take a look and see what they've got. So... But um, yeah, I like the I like the Oliver. I wanted to love it, but I just didn't. I was like, man, it's just not. It's a little too low res. It's a nice bigger tractor, though. At least it has that going for it. Yeah, there's a lot of bad, and that's what I was afraid of. That's why I kind of wait for the mod hub stuff because it seems like they kind of weed out the crappy stuff. Um, But, yeah, it's kind of like the Bure. I would say the Oliver, like, strength-wise, it's still useful because it has over 100 horsepower or around a horse, round of horsepower, around 100 horsepower. But we'll take a look and see what we got for little tractors. A Zetter might work. Uh, the Iseki maybe, would match our colors. Landini. <laughs> the Landini is an Orchard tractor that would not work. Uh, yeah, so <coughs> I'll be happy once we have all this done. Um, they slowed the beer down this time from 19. Yeah, yeah, it's not as fast as it used to be, which is probably realistic. They don't. Those tractors probably had like a 13 to 15 mile an hour top speed. They were not fast. The Fent 200 is that the is that the Orchard tractor? Let's take a look while we're talking about it. First of all, let's see what's in sales. Nope. Um, so if we go into small tractors, first let's look at the mod section because I know I got a couple mods loaded. We got the Star Max. 105. Now, I hear there's some bugs with this one, but that would be an option. What's up, King Joker? I did, my friend. Thank you for asking. Um, we've got the Fiat at 58. Uh, I'm not really looking for anything other than to, like, pull stuff around and kind of replace the pickup truck. The pickup truck's going to get us about 20000 bucks. Um, what's up, Big Hunts? So feeling okay. A little tired tonight, but not terrible. Like I said, today was a rough day. I did not feel great today. Um, yeah, like the, the major CL would work. Um, I mean, in that, well, we'd have half of it paid for from the pickup truck sale. Or the Proxima, which is what I'm using on my farm that Simone never plays with me on anymore. Um, we have the Aseki, which is getting up there in the price range. This is a 95 horsepower tractor, but we could use it for like a tow tractor. That, I kind of like to try this because it's a new brand, um, but it's a little on the high price side. Uh, this is kind of a cool looking tractor, though. It really is neat looking. And it says right on the side, Japan 5, so it must be a Japanese tractor company. Um that's cool. I wish we had more of those. This is kind of like the uh, Kubota. Anyway, uh, but this would work. I think the Major CL or the Proxima. Now, I think the problem with the CL is that it's only 18 miles an hour. Yeah, it's really slow. Um, so this might be the best one in the line for us is this Proxima. I don't know. We really don't have a whole lot to pick from. This is definitely the cheapest. So we'll look at that. That uh, that's all I, honestly all I need is to replace the pickup truck. So what am I getting all fussy about? This would work just fine. And we could also use it as our spray tractor like for doing fertilizer and stuff like that. So um you know, it would save some hours on our on our tractor. Well, that's a good true it is blue the Aseki. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. 
I wish it wasn't so much more expensive, but I'll think about it. We'll, we'll take a look at it. We got some money and some time. There's no rush right now. We're, let's just get these fields turned, and then we'll go back and take a look at that. What the? Come on. What is this? Pick those up. So maybe we will go with the Aisaki simply because we haven't. But, uh, yeah, so I'm doing good, by the way. Thank you for asking. Like I said, it's just a little tired today. Uh, not, not feeling 100% right now. And I've been uh, pounding uh, day quill and night quill because it's going back into my chest, and you can hear that just in my voice. I'm sounding congested. So I want to be better. I don't want to be sick anymore. What's up, 44? <laughs> yeah, me too. I said to my wife today, I said, I wonder how much longer it's going to be before I feel like I miss feeling like myself. You know, like, oh, I wake up, I want to get a bunch of stuff done. I get a bunch of chores done, and I'm feeling good. And, like, right now it's like I do one or two things, and I'm like, okay, that's enough for today. Stability issues. Now, what stability issues are you having, Avalon? I haven't really had any issues at all, so I'm wondering what issues are you having that are not, like, unstable? Thinking of getting a Fent 900 on your French map. Is this on 22 or, or 19? Oh, on the 19. Take, take some work off your 71050. You're sitting on $10 million. How did you make that much? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, that's cool, 44. You're going to love it. <sighs> Except for the rock. Turn the rocks off. I would recommend <laughs> strongly turning the rocks off. What? What system are you on, Avalon? It's on, I'm assuming it's on a PC, correct? That's bizarre. You, you've got to have something corrupted somewhere. Or is it an older computer? I haven't really seen anybody talking about stability issues. It doesn't mean they don't happen, but... I, it, it's uh, oh, Xbox One. Oh, weird. There you go. Build a new rig. Uh, that sucks. When you're on the console, you're kind of at the developer's mercy. That sucks. Uh, what I would do, have you tried doing it with no mods? Or is it even just like in the menu system it crashes? I would try running a map with... Uh... Okay, so consoles and Mac have it bad. Okay, there you go. Yeah, well, that sucks. That really sucks. Are they? What are they suggesting to fix it? Have they just no, no, nothing yet? It's an interesting issue, and the Mac has it too, huh? Oh. Or some kind of weird crossplay issue or something. Weird Avalon, that sucks. So I wonder if it's with the original Xbox One versus the Xbox One S, maybe it's like a memory issue or something. That stinks, dude. That's no fun. I run it on my PC 
and my laptop. The laptop is a 1060 video card, and it's a, I think it's an i7, 7, 1070, I think, or 10700. And haven't had issues on either system, but that's once again both PC platforms. They're not. Uh... Also, it's something they've done since the patch. Ah, oh, that sucks. So when it launched, it was working perfectly, and then they broke it. That sucks. They broke something. <laughs> Sorry for all the in-the-cab view stuff. It's just how we got to get it done. This helps me stay on the line, which helps me get it done faster because then I can kind of cut right to the edge. Push it over as far as I can. Oh, that's weird. Maybe it just has doesn't have enough RAM like the original... Do you like the cab view, Fooey? Fo <laughs> Fooey. Louis the Fooey. Uh, never mind. <laughs> and I still missed. Look at that. I don't know how to use guide steering. I have it installed. I just don't know how to do. It's just an Xbox thing. It's you to go by. Yeah, I kind of have to because then I can count the rows. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Well, I picked up a computer job for tomorrow. I got a old client from years ago. Um, and he's got a... Um, He's installing T-Mobile. He's going from DSL to T-Mobile 5G. I was doing some research online. They said that it should be actually be faster. I was like, I don't know, I don't know if 5G is going to be faster than DSL, but apparently it is. So hopefully that will be a big update for him. I don't know. I'm a little leery about systems that run off of phone data, but... Yeah, I've seen, uh, Pedro has the PlayStation 4 version, I believe. I believe, and he was having issues, too. Like, with it crashing. And that was early on when we first started playing together. Yes, you have to install the GPS on the tractor. And then you have to figure out how to set it all up. I saw some missed rocks here. I'm going to go back and get them. Here they are. Got to get perfect. Yeah, I do. Though I kind of lazed out. I make my son do it now. But, yeah, I've, I've all the computers I've ever owned have been home built. Usually I build them myself. Um, though now once, once, once I train to my son Ryan, I'm too lazy, and I just make him do it. I'm like, hey, can you come over and build my computer? Because he has fun doing it. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. But, yeah, I spent – I'm uh, – HP certified. Believe it or not, I'm Compaq certified for those of you that go back that far. I'm IBM certified. Warranty repair. Um, though my certifications ran out a long time ago because I don't keep, up, keep them up to date. But A plus certified, Net plus. Yeah, I used to do it all. You don't have to set the A and B points. Just point the way you want to go and hit the left control W or left alt W1. And what does that do? That just shows it on the screen so you can follow it. Right, and so then they were gone. Oops, somehow I shut. Oh, it's full. <laughs> 
Whoops. All right, I got to go ahead and put this out. Uh, I was IT, no, not software. I don't know. I don't know programming. I do a little bit, but. You're a programmer? There you go. Yeah, I never did programming. Only on a, only on a, uh, uh, trying to figure this problem out. So we're looking into the programming type basis. I understand. Like we, we took uh, in college, we had to take different languages like Fortran and stuff like that. But they were it was very basic, <laughs> including basic. <laughs> um, yeah, we had to take some basic. Turbo Pascal. We had to learn Pascal. Uh, but that was, you know, like way back when, and it was not, I, I never did anything that was relevant in, in that, you know, industry. So it was like, it was just part of my college education. And that was it. Yeah, the money for computers is all in the programming, especially, you know, obviously if you know website stuff. Um, it's no longer, I mean, it is the HTML, but it's like, yeah, I know, I know. It was at the end of that, for sure. Like, that was phasing out. Um, uh, but, yeah, so it was, uh, I wish I was. Uh, the money's in the programming, for sure. Those are the guys that make the money. Hardware guys, we're just, uh, you know, it always cracked me up, the software guys, like they just didn't know or understand the hardware at all. I'm like, you're a computer guy. How can you not understand how this works? But they just did. It was like a whole different thing. So probably a virus. Best thing to do when your computer runs slow is to, I like you said, I'm online scanner. Just run a couple scans and see if you find anything. Oftentimes you will, and you'll also get a faster running computer. pretty cool you can set waypoints as you go that would be it's realistic actually so <sighs> well we got a lot of work done but we got a lot of work to go <laughs> uh yes i have windows 11 on my laptop i installed it accidentally it's not bad I don't like it, but I don't hate it either. It worked. It worked fine. It's worked. All my games work on there so far, but I really don't play a lot. I don't play on it a lot. I use it. John's been playing Minecraft on there. I played Farm Sim on there. It worked fine. Uh, but yeah, I installed it by mistake. So. Yeah, that too. Oh, you, you formatted this hard drive well, and it's still running slow. Uh, is it an SSD based system? I mean, there's a whole bunch of things. Is it, is it, you know, what kind of processor are you running? What kind of video card? What kind of, how much RAM do you have? Uh, what's the, what is, the, you know, how old are the components? Like, you know, are you using SSD or are you using a regular platter hard drive? Because those are slow as all get out. But if you formatted, yeah. That's you pretty much. If it's still slow after formatting, then the computer is just slow. Um, yeah. Oh, so you're kind of stuck with the hardware that you have. Aside from you could change your hard drive over. I'll tell you the one biggest thing you can do to an old computer to make it run faster is to change over to SSD. That will make the computer run a lot faster than it is running. Because especially with the laptops and those old, what are they, 5,400 RPM hard drives, those things are terribly slow. So if you can if you can uh, change your hard drive out for an SSD drive, if you're not running SSD already, it's uh, you're going to uh, see a very big increase in speed. 
uh, because it just laptop hard drives are slow. So doing SSD makes them run a lot faster. Same thing, my, my kids have a really old Mac. Uh, it's an iMac, and I took out the hard drive and put in. It was really slow. I, I uh, ghosted the the uh, Mac saw. Actually, no, I didn't even have to do that. I just installed it. But I brought the Mac software over to the new SSD drive, and the computer runs like a million bucks now. It's super fast. And it's just stupid change out of a hard drive. Yeah, it came through Win Updates. That's right, Red Alpha. It said, hey, Windows Updates. And I'm like, okay. And I let it do the update. And then I came back, and I'm like, oh, geez, that was Windows 11. Okay. If I would have paid attention to the, to the you know, the small print, the fine print, I would have been okay. But I didn't. So that was my fault for not reading closely what the update was. I didn't know they were going to do it that way, though. But, yeah, that's how they, they sneak it in as, a, as, oh, this is a Windows update. Well, yeah, it is. It's a new operating system. But, and the surprising thing is it installed really quickly. Like, I want to say sub half an hour. So I was shocked at how quickly it went. So Sweet Louie. Two SSDs and one regular. Well, Binpin had given me a laptop that died. And... Uh, I, uh, I, but he had, had upgraded the, he had an upgraded two terabyte SSD in there. So I put that in this computer. So that is what the hard drive is in here. And then I took the one terabyte drive out of my other, out of this computer and put it into my laptop. So my laptop has a terabyte SSD. So, but once again, I only use my laptop when I travel and, uh, or like if I'm in the living room watching TV with the kids. So it doesn't get a ton of use. Um, and so I think one terabyte's plenty because that's all I really put on there is Farm Sim and like Minecraft. And then that's all I do on it is play, so. If I was to buy a gaming computer, well, first of all, I mean, there's some good gaming laptops out there, but you always get more for your money when you buy a desktop. So first of all, I'd recommend a desktop. But gosh, there's just so many brands. You can get a really decent gaming computer that's pre-built. Yeah, for, I don't know, Red Alpha, what do you think? Like 1700 bucks, 1500 bucks, somewhere around there. It will get you a decent either AMD or Intel setup. Um, probably with an AMD card, video card, but it's going to play games well. It'll run smoothly, um, you know. But there's all kinds of brands. I mean, it's hard to know what to do because you could get, you know, obviously you go to Best Buy, sometimes they're cheaper. Micro Center's probably, if you get a Micro Center somewhere by you, that's the best place to get one. But, yeah, I don't know. I, I It depends on what's around you. If Best Buy's the only thing around you, you're kind of stuck with their Best Buy brand stuff. And it's not terrible, but it's not great either. But it's affordable. So. Um, but then you, then you also have some of, the, like, the gaming platform people that make computers. They're all over Facebook. Digital, Digital Storm, I think, is one of them. Digital River is another one, I believe. Um, I don't know. There's a, there's a whole bunch of, like, guys that will build them for you, but they're... Yeah, they're expensive, King Pit. I mean, the downside is, you know, the price. You're looking right now is the worst time to buy a computer. I bought one this year. It was really stupid. I'll get several years of use out of it, and it's perfect for what I need, but it was three times more expensive than I've ever spent on a computer, and that's because, yeah, they're, um, everything is, uh, like, triple the price of what it should be, so... Yeah. Okay. So seventeen hundred. New egg. There you go. So Red Alpha, put some show King Pit the way. <laughs> I'm gonna sick you on that because I don't. I haven't computer shopped in forever. I just. I told my son. I gave him money and said, put together something good for me. I have this, you know. Thirty ninety card that I picked up, and I don't. I want a computer to kind of be built around it. So. He went to the store, got what he felt was good. 
and helped me put it together. And we, you know, came, he came over and assembled it for me. And you know, I that my days of building, I don't want to say they're over, but I think for now, I just kind of, I just want it to work. I don't, I'm tired of trying to build computers. You know, I've built plenty of them, but his computer is awesome. He did a really, really careful job on his computer. He did all liquid cooling. And he's got, like, the really cool case with lights that are all... He carefully picked out pieces that all were integrated with each other. So the light scheme goes throughout the whole case from the heat sink to the RAM to the, like, case fans and stuff. They all work together to make certain colors. And it's really cool. Like, the thing that he put together is really awesome. Mine's not like that, so...